list. Philippine Air Force defense acquisitions and contracts in 2019. Manila, Philippines, former Air Force Chief Lieutenant Gen. Galileo Gerard Kintner Jr. on Friday detailed a list of the upcoming defense acquisitions and expected signed deals for the Philippine Air Force in 2019. In his outgoing remarks at the change of command ceremony at Villamore Air Base, he said the Air Force is looking forward to the conclusion of three big contracts by early next year. The 16 Black Hawks from the U.S., which he described as the best combat utility helicopter in the world, 6 T-129 attack helicopters from Turkey, which he said was at par with the best in the world, and three ground-based air defense systems from Israel. Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana said early this month that the Technical Working Group of the Air Force has selected Black Hawks and T-129 ATAK for its combat utility helicopter and attack helicopter projects, respectively. He said the Black Hawks from Lockheed Martin Sikorsky were the best option to replace the cancelled Bell 412 EPI contract with Canada early this year. President Rodrigo Duterte called off the deal to acquire 16 Bell 412 EPI helicopters from Canadian Commercial Corporation after Ottawa ordered a review of the acquisition as the choppers might be used for offensive operations instead of transport missions. Kintner said the Air Force also expects the delivery of the following in 2019. Two Cobra attack helicopters from Jordan, six Super Tucano close air support aircraft from Brazil, two fixed-wing command and control aircraft, two radar systems from Israel, 13 Hermes unmanned aerial vehicles from Israel, Phase 1 of the integrated command. Control, communications and cyber system will also be implemented which will connect the Presidential Situation Room, the AFP Command Center, Unified Command Operations Centers, the Air Force Command Center, the Air Force Functional Commands, the wings and down to the Tactical Operations Groups. It also hopes to the receive the following two C-130 cargo planes and four OV-10 attack aircraft from the U.S. P-721 million worth of engineering equipment for humanitarian assistance and disaster response and developmental work. The year 2019 is particularly sweet. A giant leap in our quest to defend our precious skies and keep our nation free, Kintner said. Source, newsinfo.inquirer.net List, mga hinihingi at kontrata ng Philippine Air Force sa 2019, Manila, Philippines itinatala ng dating Gen. Galileo Gerard Quintanar Jr. 
Sa biyernes ang listahan ng mga paparating na pagtatanggol sa pagtatanggol at inaasahang pinirmahang deal para sa Philippine Air Force noong 2019. Sa kanyang palabas na remarks sa pagbabago ng seremonya ng utos sa Villamor Air Base, sinabi niya na umaasa ang Air Force sa pagtatapos ng tatlong malaking kontrata sa maagang susunod na taon. Ang labing-anim na Black Hawks mula sa US na inilarawan niya bilang ang pinakamahusay labanan ng helicopter sa mundo, anim na T-129 attack helicopters mula sa Turkey. Na kung saan sinabi niya ay katulad sa pinakamahusay sa mundo at tatlong ground-based air defense systems mula sa Israel. Sinabi ni Defensor Kalihim Delfin Lorenzo na maaga sa buwang ito na ang mga teknikal na nagtatrabaho grupo ng Air Force ay napili Black Hawks at T-129 atak para sa kanyang combat utility helicopter at atake helicopter proyekto. Ayon sa pagkakabanggit, sinabi niya na ang Black Hawks mula sa Lockheed Martin Sikorsky ay ang pinakamagandang opsyon upang palitan ng kinansilan na kontrata ng Bell 412 EPI sa Canada. Maagang bahagi ng taong ito. Tinawalang bisa ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ang dilo upang makakuha ng labing-anim na Bell 412 EPI helicopters mula sa Canadian Commercial Corporation matapos ang utos ng Ottawa na pag-aralan ang pagkuha dahil ang mga chopper ay maaaring gamitin para sa mga opens ibong operasyon sa halip na mga misyon sa transportasyon. Sinabi ni Quintanar na inaasahan din ng Air Force ang paghahatid ng sumusunod sa 2019. Dalawang Cobra Attack Helicopters mula sa Jordan 6 na Super Tucano malapit na air support aircraft mula sa Brazil dalawang Fixed Wing Command and Control Aircraft dalawang Radar System mula sa Israel labintatlong Hermes. Unmanned Aerial Sisakyan mula sa Israel ang Phase 1 ng Integrated Command. Control Communications at Cyber System ay ipapatupad din na magkakabit sa Presidential Situation Room, AFP Command Center, Unified Command Operations Centers, Air Force Command Center, Air Force Functional Commands, Wings at pababa sa mga Tactical Operations Group, inaasahan din nito na makatanggap ng mga sumusunod. Dalawa C-130 cargo aeroplano at apat OV-10 atake sa sakyang panghimpapawid mula sa US-721 na milyong piso na halaga ng mga kagamitan sa engineering para sa humanitarian assistance at tugon sa kalamidad at pagunlad. Ang taon, dalawang libot labinsyam na ay partikular na matamis. Isang higanteng pagluksu sa ating pakikipagsapalaran upang ipagtanggol ang ating mahalagang kalangitan, at panatilihing libre ang ating bansa, sabi ni Quintanar, pinagmulan, newsinfo.inquirer.net. Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.